Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate traditional artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Kind of subdued today. Jeff, yeah, I got me. Exactly. I don't want to steal. Back. I don't want to steal your thunder. You got so much to say. I didn't want to uh, have the opening uh, clash with it. So you take it away, Jeff. You've got a lot to say today. Freaking pumped up about art. Uh, fresh off of coming back from New York and Boston. Uh, we. It's been a couple weeks since we. And you're fresh off of uh, last week coming out back. west. Yeah, yeah. Out west. Amazing, amazing inspiration. Actually, you were going uh, when you were uh, going into Devil's Tower. Uh, a lot of my artwork that I use reference for, I use digital camera reference to produce. But when I was out in Yellowstone and out by Devil's Tower, I took a lot, a lot of pictures, but those were the, the classic type pictures. So I'm thinking of, after I get through with a couple more paintings, that I might look in and delve into some of my you know, normal photographs from the old days. I mean, it's, it's just so strange how t technology has so quickly changed us between digital cameras i mean we used to go to a target or a, or not, not even really walmart walmart was for film i mean walmart was almost like post film you know digital cameras yeah. started coming in and now we used to have to get our film developed you know a lot of people well not only that but the expense of the film oh well, yeah and now when, when you don't when you take bucks. that expense away you can get a great shot because yeah. you can take 12 of everything you're and pick and doing what you yeah, want to get exactly. rid of and then it's so cheap now that it, we used to have you you'd send it away i mean early early on it would be a week and then they had one hour photo places but now, now today you can those. either print it yourself or like what i did uh, I upload it to Walmart or, or Walgreens, Walgreens, excuse me, yeah. and tell them what I want. And my wife picked it up while she was out shopping. Afternoon. It's just it's it's freaking amazing. And then you put in the 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 cell phone technology. I mean, there's kids today that don't even know what a payphone is. They right. don't understand that. And they're not going to know what a camera is because right. I'll tell you the quality of the pictures that I took with my iPhone 6 Plus. Out west are as good as any of our, that I've taken in my life. Yeah, and the qual the camera quality is getting there. I mean, the next couple generations, you can uh, is still a good digital SLR takes an amazing picture for if you're going large format. But right. for for producing the the everyday pictures, it's just like the the iPhone six and the Samsungs all the cat the those phones are are, are amazing. So with that said. <laughs> Uh, What's was, going on in the world of art, Jeff? Well, I went out to New York to help my daughter move. She moved one apartment from Brooklyn into another apartment from Brooklyn with friend. You know, she had to switch because she's going to school out, out uh, in uh, Manhattan at NYU. And the the day that uh, Thursday was just living hell, and then Friday when we got up and going, I went down to the One World Trade Center. I really wanted to get some grab shots, and it was a stunning day. The way that the clouds were reflecting and the sun was reflecting off the uh, the you know the trade center, it was it was it was amazing. I don't think you get that all the time because the clouds behind it behind it were matching to the clouds behind me, reflecting into the building, making some really kind of dramatic type scenery. So I was really happy about that. We went to um, Battery Park uh, and saw the Statue of Liberty down there. And uh, really that, I ended up getting a really good grab shot for one of my social media pieces. I'm gonna have to do that. And then we headed off into uh, Times Square. So I, I got a lot of reference uh, out of New York City and then saw some, some family. Shout out to Jim and Dancy Balistre and their, their uh, three children, wonderful. We had a really good time there. Uh, it was, it was uh, relaxing and it was just good to see um, you know, family, and then we headed off to Boston. And in Boston, we I, I was in Boston, a natick actually, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston, to teach uh, Joyce Krieger. Uh, I did a day seminar on Photoshop, and uh, I really kind of it was kind of a nice thing. I've never actually taught the fo fo what I've known in Photoshop, and uh, in a day, and really. It was um, inspiring for me. Uh, Joyce is the founder, and she runs Art Specifier. So I'm I'm on Art Specifier. If you want to check out my stuff, she loved my newest painting, Crossroads. I showed her that. 
that's up on our specifier so check that out and crossroads she loved so much that you know i kind of working with her she really was um you know developmental into what direction i might want to go in the future she loved the the thought process behind producing uh, Crossroads. So I was shout out to Joyce. We I had a wonderful time, uh, a wonderful day, and hopefully we're going to be doing a lot of business together in the future. And then that brings me to today is day 100, 100 of shooting the water the water tower. Got through the first 100 days. Um, what I did today is I went through and made a slideshow of the it's about a 15 minute slideshow i'm in the process i'm going to be putting it up on youtube i'll put a link everybody check out because it really encompasses the three i think it was 500 pictures but the, of the 250 some i think i'm at 263 today documented the documented uh pictures and then there was all the peripherals the some of the good peripherals. folks if i could interject here you think a water tower how can you photograph it for 100 days and have 500 pictures to choose from. I gotta tell you, I was even skeptical myself. I didn't say this to Jeff at the time. These pictures are incredible. And some of his sunset pictures uh, are just astounding. They are of such a quality and such an image that he captured. You have to take time to check it out. It's well worth your well, time. Well, right now I'm looking out the window, just glancing out, and this is if we weren't video blogging tonight, I would be headed over to the water tower because you could just, I, I get a feeling right around between 8 and 8.30 whether I'm gonna head out there or not, and I usually get it in the morning, same thing. Look, the first thing I do is I think the water tower. Now, I, after 100 days of shooting this water tower, but what it, it's not a, it's truly not a water tower experiment it's a, a light study and light study is is basically uh nature the water tower is so many water towers are intrusive on nature they 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 scar the landscape they don't blend but for whatever reason the shape and the way this water tower it has become part of the scenery around it and i've always thought that ever since i saw it for the first time and that was 11 years ago and really I've been saying I should do this, so I'm so, I'm excited that I'm doing this water tower project. I am, and it's really photographing nature around the water tower, and the water tower then is chameleon is like a chameleon to reflect what's happening in the the natural light of the you know of what's happening around it. But you know, there's just so many different angles to shoot it, and so many different aspects of lighting. And the slideshow that you you should really check it out because it does show the different uh, light patterns and, and shadowing and everything. And it's a it's definitely an excellent study. I can't wait to get to 360 day 365. Produce the artworks, 50 shades of blue. Produce the book. Produce the poster. Produce the, the all the paintings. Produce the photographic prints. That's just exciting to me. And then everybody who's involved with it, all the people who are involved with it, and you know who you are. Uh, you'll be able to take something away from this product, whether buying a book, whether buying one of the posters, those some of the stuff is reason, or even taking an original piece of artwork. It's all going to be up there, and you're going to be a part of it. In the book, I'm going to have a section of the people who were liking my Facebook posts. They will be mentioned in the book. It's going to be part of the book, so you all can be a part of this. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's 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 a a commitment, a year is a commitment of anybody. And life. folks, if that's uh, not of a, enough of a project and a commitment for you, tell us about what you just laid on me yeah, well, about 15 minutes ago. In my insanity, uh, I, I, uh, there, I am going to host or run or be a part of this, this event that I've thought up. It's called Social Media Art Cares. And if you are an artist, it's open to all artists on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, anybody who's an artist. Uh, I, uh, there's no one excuse, excluded, but it's, it's going to be exceptional for digital artists. Because digital artists, I, I've noticed there are some stunning digital artists out there. And the format's going to be a specific format, and you're going to basically... Uh, submit this format through a website you're going to submit it through a website it's going to be specific size and a specific resolution and when you submit it, it it's going to then uh, I'm going to produce 
the artwork in a uh, physical form. I'm going to, I, I'm working on a lab who's going to be able to produce a physical, you know, the physical artwork for this piece. And so then it's going to be a show and an auction for charity. Um, all the pieces, uh, there'll be a, a, an entrance fee and then there'll be a standard entrance fee. And then all the pieces will be available for $50 for charity and I haven't picked we're working on getting this charity we're working on but that's my it some of the numbers might change but this is in the beginning of stages it's called social media art care smack so look forward to that it's gonna have a website it's gonna have a Kickstarter campaign I, I really want the artists of the world to unite I'm talking about all the artists you know modern you know some of the the I want to get as many artists involved whether you're well known established or just starting out I want I want the world to see how much artists and social media how big this thing can get and then how much money we can raise for charity uh, the charity is going to be important we're working on that but I wanted to kind of launch that you know out there there'll be lots more details coming up but that is uh, that's where I'm at there's so much that happened this, past couple it's you know. been crazy we have just had a lot of things happen you had your vacation yep and I had mine had a wonderful time Karen and I did and then uh, got to go with my thanks to my brother-in-law who organized all this got to take my 87 year old mother or 86 and a half year old mother to see my 95 year old uncle her brother her only surviving sibling who is still an active scoutmaster who was in Michigan for an Order of the Arrow conference, and he didn't know we were coming. And my brother-in-law uh, made it all happen. All I had to do was just play chauffeur and enjoy every moment of it and got uh, brother and sister together uh, quite unexpectedly there, and that was just a ton of fun. Yeah, that, that was amazing. I mean, it just, you know, that's... that's there's not too special. many 95-year-old active scoutmasters. No, he's a World War many 95-year-old active anything. <laughs> World War II veteran, and he's just a great guy, and... Uh, it was great to bring them together. So between the vacation and that and all of Jeff's exciting news, I'm really pumped up. Yeah! <laughs> well, well the, it, hopefully it won't be a couple, I think that was three weeks ago that we did our last one. We've been one. busy, so yeah. Hopefully, hopefully within the week or two we'll have some more updates. I'm painting away. I've got a new piece on the palette with a three or four ready to go. I'm, I'm, I'm inspired. It's, I don't know where I get the energy, but I got it. And Jeff... Pro football kicks off this weekend. We had our Hall of Fame game. As we speak, opening game. Uh, all right, that's it. Okay, take care, folks. Okay.